You may have seen my air horn project back in 2008 that involved a film canister, a balloon, and a straw. It let out a pretty high-pitched squeal, but now it's time to make the blaster. To make the blaster, head over to your home improvement store and go to the plumbing aisle. That's where you'll find just about everything you need to build this. You'll need a 3 quarter inch piece of PVC pipe, and 8 inches is about right, and a 2 inch T. All three ports on this are 2 inches in diameter. You'll also need a 2 inch end cap. Now this gets inserted into the 2 inch T, and a 2 inch to 1 inch threaded adapter. This will be inserted in the T and has threads for one inch pipe. Next up, a two inch to three quarter inch adapter. This has a smooth three quarter inch end for our pipe. And finally, a one inch threaded slip adapter. Now you'll also need a piece of bicycle tube and I had this old tube because I figured I'd need it for a future project. Then sure enough, I won't be using any PVC cement for this, just a rubber mallet is enough to pound in all the connections. All right, let's get to work and build this. Grab the two inch T and the two inch to one inch threaded adapter, and that goes in the center part of the T. Go ahead and pound it in. Then we'll take our one inch threaded adapter and screw that in. It doesn't need to be super tight, just hand tight is fine. The two inch to three quarter inch adapter comes into play next, but as you can see, the three quarter inch pipe bottoms out because there's a lip in the inside of the three quarter inch end. So it's time for a little Dremel action with the sanding attachment. We'll fire that up and slowly remove that inside lip. When you're done, the three quarter inch pipe will fit inside. It'll be tight, but you'll be able to get it past that one end because we need it to go inside our blaster. Okay, now we'll take that piece and insert it into one end of our two inch T and give it a good hammering in. Time to use our end cap now, and this is where our bicycle tire tube comes into play. With a pair of scissors, cut about a three inch piece out. Then we'll use the scissors again to cut along one edge. Now this will give us a nice square piece of tire tube. Take that tire tube and wrap it around the inside part of our end cap. Pull it tight, and then we're gonna hammer it into the last opening of our two inch T. Keep hammering until it's at least halfway in. Ow! Oh, watch where you put your hand. I learned the hard way, but there's no time to cry. Gotta keep working. Once that end cap is in far enough, I took a box cutter just to trim the rest of that bicycle tire tube away. Kinda gives it a clean finish. Then our last step is to insert our three quarter inch piece of pipe. You don't want it to make contact with the tire tube, just back it off a little bit. Trial and error will make it work. And again, a rubber mallet might help to get it in all the way. All right, here we go. Ooh, that is loud. That's how to make the blaster air horn. It blasts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.